welcome back to my channel. I just recorded a different video before this one. I don't know which one's gonna be up first or when this one is gonna be up or when that one's gonna be up. I thought while I'm still here, I thought I'd record another video. So this video is going to be about just showing you my acrylic stand collection. And I've done a video in the past showing you guys my um, acrylic charm collection or just my charm collection. And those were a mix between ones that I bought in the artist alley at conventions or just official merch that I've bought throughout the years and uh, this one's gonna be the same thing with the acrylic stands some of them are unofficial art and then some of them are official art so I'm gonna mix those two and show you guys basically what I have you can see pretty much a preview of them on my shelf so I'm just gonna pull them out one by one and like show you a closer view of them so yeah without further ado let's get started oh and please make sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed it would really mean the world to me so I think how I'm gonna organize this is by series so first off I'm gonna start with a fan art one from an anime movie which you could probably see right now um, but I'm gonna pull them closer for you to see first up is this beautiful Kimi no Nawa stand oh my god look how beautiful this is the moment I saw this I got this at I believe it was anime midwest or no I, I think it was anime central the moment I passed by the artist's booth I don't remember the artist's name I will try to find it if you know the artist I would really appreciate it if you would comment it below so I can either like pin it or like just uh, add it to the description or whatever but it is this Kimi no Nawa or your name acrylic stand holy crap it is so beautiful they had a bunch of like different beautiful acrylic stands too I think they had a Sailor Moon one I fe feel like I was supposed to go back to get that one and then I just forgot or never did I don't know or I was like at my like budget um yeah so this is the base I'm just gonna take that apart this is the base so on this side you have the city of I think it's Tokyo that he's from and then here you have the um kind of countryside that she's from and then you have the two over here our two main characters our two love interests dude they are so freaking cute I love this art style I love the shading going on I love the highlights in their hair and their eyes and just I don't know it's so it it reminds me here's what it reminds me of it reminds me of like old um romance animes that like back in like the 2000s you know what i mean like the old like well-known romance animes so cute i also love the idea behind this base this is so adorable normally uh bases are like plain and just clear and whatever but you really took the cake with this one so i love it okay so the next three are actually vocaloid acrylic stands these ones are not they're not officially licensed i'm pretty sure i just bought them off ebay a while back um when i was like in my like vocaloid phase we all had that vocaloid phase some of us are still in it i kind of am but it is these are so cute because they like sparkle but it is this double-sided like the first one is this double-sided Niku one, which is adorable. I don't know if you can actually see the spark. Oh, you could probably kind of see the sparkles coming out of it, but it's so cute. I love this style. I love everything about it. Like the more you look at it, the more you see like details in her dress and like in her little uh, hair tie. And I love the fact that it's double-sided. I love double-sided acrylic stands. A lot of the times you don't see that especially in I don't think you ever really see that in official anime merch I think but next one is of Len I love the little sunflower uh, with the bucket that he's holding and the water that's moving around so cute and he is also sparkly I believe oh actually he is not sparkly so that's something I just noticed <laughs> I literally just noticed that he is not Maybe he is. Wait, maybe he's not. Okay, wait, hold on. We're learning new things here together. Am I like tripping? Oh, okay, he is sparkly. Okay, so what I am learning is even though they're double sided, so for instance, this is double sided, she's only sparkly on one side. This side she's not. But this side she is. 
um, and then same with Len. I mean, I guess um, the next one I'm going to show you too. Um, but oh, there we go. There you can see that sparkly there. Oh, and the base is even though it's plain, I really like how it's like small and doesn't take up a lot of space. But it is also sparkly. Look at that. So cute. Love that. Um, okay, so next one we have, of course, we have Len, so we have to have Rin. So that's Rin right over there. She's so cute in her little um, hat. I love her hat so much. I love her pose and everything. I love this little flower, floral background that's going on here. So cute. And yeah, so where are the sparkles? Okay, so the sparkles are on this side. Cute. And then again, their bases are sparkly too. But super cute. I will say that... From my experience of ordering stands and stuff like that, a lot of the times the fan art ones and unofficial art ones are so much better than the official ones. But there are some really, really good official ones, but I'm just saying, comparing, you know, forget it. You know what I mean. Okay, so moving on, I have this small acrylic stand that also doubles as a acrylic uh, charm or keychain. So it is this adorable Black Butler CL Phantom Hive throwback, you guys. Uh, CL Phantom Hive uh, acrylic stand, and he is very tiny. He's like, that's how tiny he is. So he has a hole right there where you can add the little chain, which it did come with. I just put it away because I like it better as a stand. And his base also doubles as a keychain as well over here. And it just says CL over here. Although like the thing that would like throw me off from using this as a keychain would be these holes for the stand, but not that big of a deal. Not gonna use that as a keychain anyway. Um, and then here along the, along the edge of the circle, it just says Black Butler Book of Atlantic animate cafe and it's just a collaboration with animate cafe which they do a lot of collaborations with anime so that's him and he's just eating his little sweets um a little cookie with the jelly in the middle adorable i love cl my son okay so next one is from oh one of the throwback animes that i grew up or i didn't grow up watching but like one of the throwback animes that like I first watched and it is uh from Blue Exorcist and this one is I forgot her name hold on hold on y'all Izu <laughs> oh shit <laughs> that is so small Izumo it is Izumo see, see I knew her name was Izu something I was gonna say Izumi I think that's a boy's name though so this is Izumo it's probably not a boy's name I'm just thinking it's a boy's name because I'm thinking Izumi from Mia. so I, I don't know it's probably like whatever <laughs> anyways Izumo uh one of my favorite characters from Blue Exorcist I love her I love her eyebrows too so cute people make fun of her for her eyebrows I freaking love them um I love her little uh doggies too so cute I forgot what they're called I haven't watched the series in so long um adorable love her and then uh, again, because she's official merch, she she isn't double sided, but that's fine. Her big oh, she also doubles as a keychain as well, and so does her base. This one I just left the chain on, but her base also doubles as a keychain and has a bit of a design here, so you would hang it from here and it would just dangle. But it has her name. I think it also has her name in kanji, but. I can't read that kanji, but over here, very tiny, which is what I was looking at. It has her name, Kamiki Izumo. And then I love this little outline line art of her over here on the side. This little like gradient from dark to light going on here. So I have one of her and I also have one of Shami. So adorable. I loved Shami. I know a lot of people, for some reason, I've heard some people say that they didn't like her. I don't know why. I'd like to know if you don't like her, what is the reason? Do you just find her annoying? I mean, I feel like I can understand why you don't like her, but like, I, I don't know. When I first saw it, I loved her and I love, I forgot his name, but I loved him and her little green guy. Um, so cute. Uh, and then again, she's also a keychain and so is her base. And then she, her base is the same style as uh, Izumo's. So she's got her little line art over here, her name in kanji and in hira hiragana. And then next up, I have a character that I absolutely love and wish they made 
another season of uh this made me laugh this anime made me laugh so much but i also felt bad for the character um because i feel like to some extent we can relate to her to some extent if i mean i'm just saying you probably relate to her if you watch anime and i'm like i'm giving it away but it is tomoko from watamote um i love her this is inspired this like art style is like from the manga so if she doesn't look how she does in the anime that is why it's because it is in the manga style and she, it's like a sleepover um pajama version so adorable and she's holding her little plushie and she's smiling but she's a little nervous she's got a little bit of sweat going on i love her i know a lot has happened in the manga and a lot has changed i haven't like read the manga at all but hopefully one of these days i will uh, but yeah, that is her. I do. Again, she is actually one-sided, but her base is also adorable. So cute. And then this little cloud over here just says, it's the full title of the anime. It's no matter how I look at it, it's your guys' fault that I'm not popular. Next one I have is actually is a little bit more, I don't want to say complex, but it's a little more different than all of the acrylic stands that I have. This one I got very recently. It's my most recent, I want to say, my most recent stand. And it is of Dazai from Bungo Stray Dogs or Bungo Stray Dogs. It's from the Wan series. And he is so cute. He's sitting in the box. So at first when I bought this, I didn't like, I thought it was just a regular acrylic stand. Um, as you can see, again, it does double as a uh, keychain or a charm but it is also a pen holder. So let me grab a pen and show you. Okay, so I have this pink pen over here, super cute. So this is Dazai and there is a hole over here and you kind of just, you do that. That's about it. And he sits on your desk and he holds your pen for you because he's very helpful and cute but I, I don't use it as a pen holder. Okay, y'all, I left, I stopped recording for a bit. I had to go help my coworker at work with something. Now I'm back recording, so if the lighting is weird and different, it's like nighttime right now. So I'm gonna go on and continue and show you guys the rest of my acrylic stand. So sorry about the change in lighting or the change in atmosphere or whatever. Okay, so the last two sets that I have are from Tokyo Mew Mew. So I've got small ones and then I've got big ones and I'll show you the small ones first. These are super cute, you guys. Uh, they have a uh, rain, uh, rainy day gear with them, I guess. So this is Ichigo, so freaking cute. Love her umbrella, love the colors, love the art styles. She's just so cute, oh my God. I love it, she's so adorable. I, I, I don't know what else to say about it. <laughs> Next we have Mint. And then these are also um, one-sided, but this is mint. She's got blue, I wanna say, these actually look like strawberries, but I'm guessing they're supposed to be blueberries. Berry patterns on the umbrella. Ichigo had strawberries, but no, they look the same. I think they're blue strawberries. I don't know. And then we have Zakuro. I think they're all strawberries. These are purple strawberry patterns that she has on her umbrella, which you can't really see that well, but. Yeah, so that's Zakuro's. Love her hair, how it's tied back, it's so cute. Oh, and it's braided, adorable. I also really love her outfit, super cute. And then we have Lettuce, who has a raincoat on that is uh, strawberry patterned as well. And then next we have Pudding, who has a strawberry themed strawberry patterned raincoat with her little hoodie on super cute jumping through i'm guessing what would be puddles if there was like water there now finally i'm going to show you the last set of acrylic stands that i have and it is the tokyo Mew Mew <laughs> acrylic stands but they are much bigger so let me get those down okay so first off let me show you a character that i didn't have in the or that I don't have in any of my Tokyo Mew Mew collection that I love. It is this little troublemaker, Kish. Ah, I loved him so much. He's like one of my favorite magical girl villains. I thought he was super cute. I don't know, I like him. I know some people hate him a lot, but I think, I don't know. 
I like him. That's all I'm gonna say. He is behind a Cafe Mew Mew sign. Yeah, he's like blocking it and being a troublemaker. And he's sitting in a little crisscross applesauce position with his, you know, his little flir flirty self. I'm guessing that is to Ichigo, that little heart. And I think it's super cute. I don't know, love him. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, next up, we have the Queen Bee herself, Ichigo. Love it. So all of these uh, acrylic stands are gonna be the girls in their Cafe Mew Mew outfits, which I love. And she's holding these very delicious looking pancakes. And then she has her cute little ears and tail out. Adorable. And then we have Mint, which I love her pose. I think it's probably one of my favorite poses out of all the acrylic stands. Maybe not. Yeah, one of them. <laughs> Adorable. And then again, these are uh, one-sided. And then next we have Zakura, which look at that. Look, that looks delicious as well. Everything looks so good that they're holding. <laughs> I'm just realizing. And it really looks Sailor Moon themed. I don't know. Super cute though. There's that. And then we have Pudding, who is also holding a lunch menu. I love Pudding, she's so cute. And then finally we have Lettuce, who doesn't seem to care that she's dropping a shit ton of macaroons. Macarons, macaroons, whatever. Those are all my acrylic stands. <laughs> uh, that I have. I did, I know I ordered, uh, I ordered a ton of Obey Me ones from the Otome game Obey Me, and I cannot wait for those to come in. I bought the anniversary ones, which come in in February, and then I bought one of Mammon, who is my absolute favorite character in that game. I bought one of him. It's like a little chibi one. It's probably as big as the Dazai one, if I'm if I had to guess, or the CL one. Uh, and he's like holding MC, and yeah, I love him so much. So um, Mammon is best boy in that, or best man, best demon in that game. So yeah, that is my acrylic stand collection. Let me know what you think. I will see you guys in the next video, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Please subscribe. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye.